Big win on senior day. Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Coach, at the half, you told MC you wanted to see better movement from your offense in the second half. Were you happy with what you saw? Absolutely happy. Uh, you know, when, when we are th really conscious of attacking and then great ball movement out of that, at whatever attacking we're doing, it's impressive to see what their vi how much their vision has come along off uh, um, as we're swinging the ball around. I thought transition. We had so many opportunities in transition in that second half just by keeping our head up going hard and letting the ball do the work yeah yeah it goes a long way doesn't it, sure it goes does. so I, you know i would rather have the ball do it than me run it uh -huh. every time it's not even a not even a battle coach this is um this is a team that's been young that's been deal dealing with injuries yeah. to come through all of this and to you know avoid the first round of the mac commonwealth tournament to be a top three seed how do you describe this team i know you've talked so much about how much you enjoy coaching them but for them to have dealt with everything they've dealt with this year and to be in this position, what does that mean to you? To, to have uh, young athletes be as resilient as this group has been and as positive as this group has been, it is, it's those two things that have gotten us into the third place position. You know, one by one as, as, as our starters are going down or our attackers are going down or you know, we're replacing people and then another person gets injured. We could have easily given up. Uh, we could have easily just said, hey, let's just play the rest of the season for fun. They stayed focused on the goal, and that goal was to get into the MAC tournament and win it. So we are not done yet. Nope. Um, and we, we were in this exact position a year ago and just decided we were just not going to go home quietly. And I'm super proud of today. And there were some other wins this year that were fantastic. So they deserve, they deserve the credit for working hard in practice, watching a lot of film, and, and just really bringing it on game day. Uh, obviously won't be easy on Wednesday as you head to Messiah. Of course, we saw you know a couple weeks ago this, that game. Mm -hmm. What is it going to take for you to be able to go on the road and do what you guys did, and as we bring up, a year ago and avenge that and come away with a huge win? It's going to take sharing the ball and keeping that ball moving. We all, all seven attackers that are out there need to do their job at attacking the gaps between the defenders. And if Messiah plays great defense, then we need to pull it out. We need to outlet it. We need to move it to another part of the field and somebody else or another two or another three need to go at Messiah's defense. It's going to be about finding the matchups we like and it's going to be about possession time. Um, but you know what? We put a great defensive effort in against Messiah the last time we played them. So I'm hoping to have that even better. Uh, and, and, and to, to um, st you know, if we can keep them to 12, I think we can score 14 goals on them. But it's going to take a reworking of a lot of the things that we're doing on attack. Mm -hmm. uh, you brought up, you had three seniors honored before tonight's game. I, take me through this whole group of three, but I want you to specifically, because we've never talked to Erin before. And that's what she said. She's excited about being up here. She said she's going to nail this. The, the, well. she was so, yeah, it's, I think that's what I heard. Uh, I want you to specifically tell me a little bit about Erin. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if you knew this. You probably talked about this. And did you, you sing your tricky song when she hit her hat trick? Okay, because you, we haven't had an Erin hat trick this season, I don't think. And... As you know, with our injuries, we have taken one defender after another and put them on attack. Aaron has spent four years being attack for three days, going back and playing defense <laughs> for two, playing attack in the first half, going defense for the second half, and her whole career has been that. You want to talk about resilient? Here's a girl that I've changed her position a thousand times in her four-year career who ends the regular season with a hat trick. So, come on. I mean, that you just... It's a coach's dream to have somebody that just wants to play hard and wants to do the best for her team wherever that means on the field. That's awesome. I can't ask for anything more. No, you coach, uh, good luck on Wednesday. I, I, mean, I guess there's some scenario we could see you next Saturday. I, I hope for that, but no matter yeah. what. Probably oh. not, but that's okay. That's okay. I know that you will be watching on um, Go Mustang Sports TV yes, as we hopefully play next Saturday. Always a pleasure. Good. Appreciate you. Thank you, you very much. Thanks for everything.